Hello there guys, welcome to this quick, tut quick tutorial on how to connect to the Apache Debian database so you can um, have a database in your standalone Java applications. So we will go ahead and create a new Java class, sorry a new project, we will call it a test project, click on finish. <clears throat> Now in the test project directory, you want to create a new Java class and call it DB connection. Okay. Click on finish. Now we need to go back to the Apache um, website and download the jars we're going to use. So if I will, pro I will provide this link in the description below. So you can go on and down, click on the bin um, link here and click on OK. Um, I will cancel it because I've already downloaded it. Um, once it's downloaded, in your, in your source package, right click on it and create a new folder and we will call it the lib. So uh, mine is downloaded and saved onto the desktop. So I'll open it. Um, I'll open the lib directory. And in my NetBeans, I'll move over to the files view. Open my project here, go to source. Go here. I'll copy the Derby jar and paste it into the lib folder. Okay, now that this is done, one more thing to be done, which is um, we need to add a jar we actually just um, downloaded as a dependency on our project. So we right click on, to, on our test project, go to pro properties, then we go to libraries, go to add fo our jar folder, then you go to your NetBeans project, look for your test project, go to source, lib, and select the jar, and click choose, and click on OK. Once that is done, um, we want to create a driver, which is basically the name of the class um, we want to use from the jar. So, which we we type in private static um, final string driver is equal to. We go up here and type in import org to get the name of the driver actually org dot apache dot derby dot um, jdbc dot embedded driver where is it embedded driver basically there are two types of drivers which you can use you can use the server the client's driver or the embedded driver. But since we since we um, just want to embed the um, database into our standalone project, we just use the embedded driver. What I just did is I just copied the link I got there, and I'll just paste it here, and I'll save it. We need to create um, <clears throat> a URL to our um, um, database, so we will go here. Our just cheat and type in jdbc underscore url is equal to the cups will be equal to jdbc colon derby colon um test project this could actually be a path to wherever you want to save your um wherever you want to save your database but once i do project it will be relative to test project and um, once i type in test project it will be relative to test project so it will save into test projects so i'll say test projects then i'll say um create equal 
true. Basically, what this means is, if this does not exist, it will we will create um, a new database. So now that is done, uh, we want to create a connection object for connecting to the database. So let's say connection con. Um, you need to import that. Then we will create a constructor. Uh, in the constructor, we'll say this dot con is equal to um, driver manager. Uh, driver manager dot get connection uh, should be JDBC URL. Now we want to check if the connection has been established or not. So we say if um, this dot con is not equal to now, we go ahead and say connected to database. Um, we will sorry, surround it with a try and catch and save it. So let's go to test project and test this. So we do db um, db connection db connection equal new db connection let's see db connection oh then we will run it and here we go it says connected to database um, so let's go ahead and create some methods for inserting data or creating a date a table and inserting data into the database as well so we we'll go ahead and say public yeah, public void creates create table in, in here it will say con dot <clears throat> create statement dot execute in here we'll say create table my table Um, we want to pass um, well, we want to give the we want to give it three um, columns so we're going to give it a name and say name will be voucher and let's say that will be 50 comma age will be end and um, gender and let's say gender will be character um, let's see characters in the one um so on do it with try and catch and now let's go ahead and create a method for inserting <clears throat> data into the table so we go public Void insert into table. Uh, we want to pass in string name and age and char gender. Then we go ahead and say con dot create. Statement dot execute um, say insert into my table no not my table my table what's wrong here my table 
values mm, want to pass in name name comma age comma and gender you want to put that in string That's it. Then we will surround it. Try and catch. Obviously, we need to do We'll go ahead and create the last method called print all for printing everything from the table. So we we'll say not public, public void print all. <coughs> Say statement statement oh God statement statement is equal to con actually say this. On the create statement, then we'll say results set res equal um, equal statement to execute query. Um, select the from from my okay my table you need to import the result set and also you need to import for the statement as well now we need to put both of these in a try and cut try and catch block so I'll just surround the whole block with a try and catch and I'll go down here and I'll say while um, results dot next I'll go here and I'll say print result get string get get string and that will be the name of the table which is name so we put that here plus space plus result dot get string uh, which is age so we'll put age here yeah. Plus space plus rest dot get string again, and that will be gender. So now we have these three um, methods. So let's go back to test projects. So here we obviously um, creating an instance of the db connection class. Then we'll say db. Dot, first of all, we want to create a table, so that will create a table. Then we'll say db. Dot insert into table. So I'll put John. John age is twenty-five. And John. Is a male. Then we will insert okay, so db dot inserts. Uh, what do we call it? John and Florence. 
um, Florence is 24, 23, whatever. Then Florence is female. Now say DB dot print all and save it. Now let's run it. So, and here we go. So now we say connected to the database. John is 25 and Florence is 20, 23. Um, you don't want to be creating, well, once you've created a table, you don't want to be running this um, method, method again and again. So let's say if I run it again, it will give me an exception saying, yeah, it will say table view already exists. So once you've created a table, you want to comment that out and save it and run it again. And here we go, because we've run it three times, it's created one, two, and three. Um, so yeah, that's it. And also, if you want to drop everything, you can just go to the file view, um, test project, you know, this is the name of the database. So we just delete it, say yes, delete that. Yes, and go back here, save it, and run it again. It creates a new database with only two. And that comes to the end of my database tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Bye.